this year, we are growing, let's see, soybeans, oats, and barley. Pretty limited this year. Um, it has to do with the markets and cost of different inputs and also the fact that we had a lot of ground that we weren't able to use, that we had um, to burn the wheat and the oats on. We didn't really get those off in time and we didn't know what we were gonna put in place because it was still really wet. One thing I wanna talk about is the correlation between um, some different egg products. So our canola goes to canola oil um, quite a bit, whether it's in the spray form or the liquid form. North Dakota is number one in canola and they are also number one in honey. So you don't think that these two have a correlation, but if you are from North Dakota, you probably see these bee boxes that are out all along canola fields. Canola is a flowering plant. It needs to be pollinated. Well, what a better pollinator than a bee. And you're going to get a byproduct off it called honey. So when you see these two, um, they usually are both number one together, or if they slide, they both slide together, but they usually tend to stay right at the top because North Dakota is very good at producing both of them. If there's a lot of bees, the canola is going to have uh, a pretty good yield because it, all the flowers are going to get pollinated because of the amount of the bees that are out there. Um, and same with if there's a lot of canola for the bees to feed on, they are going to have a lot of honey. Another thing that I want to talk about is ice cream cones. It's summertime. Another fact that um, I've talked about before in some of my blogs, but a lot of times they are putting little random labels on the top of your products. Now those aren't necessarily meeting the same requirements as the nutrition facts. See, those are hidden sometimes. They're on the back or the side of the box. It makes you actually pick it up and read it. But that is where the exact information of what is or what is not in your product, not the label on the front. So if you want to know exactly what's in there, you look at the ingredients. And so as I was telling some kids today, you may think, oh, it's just kind of got flour and sugar in it and some water, and that's how you make a sugar cone. Well, it's got flour that comes from wheat, which is a crop that we usually grow on our farm. It's also got soybean oil, which we grow on our farm. Um, and it also has molasses and honey. Molasses comes from sugar beets here in North Dakota, and honey comes from probably some of the bees that are pollinating our canola crop that we grow. So there's quite a few of just one specific farmer's crops that are um, inside this specific product. So always be on the lookout and always look at the nutrition facts that are in the label, not necessarily the stickers on the front, because... A lot of times they can put them on there and it's deceiving. They will say non-GMO, which makes you think that a lot of other products are GMO when in fact they are not. Same with your meat and dairy products that tend to say they're antibiotic free. Pretty much any product I can think of is antibiotic free. Milk can go from the farm to your shelf in 48 hours. And so it's tested on the farm. If by some chance their reader was faulty or it gave them a false negative that there was not antibiotics, it is going to be tested again um, by the milk truck and sometimes tested again at the plant um, that receives it. So it's usually tested a minimum of two times, if not more. Same with your beef. The farmers keep very, very good records of when they give their animals uh, certain antibiotics and there has to be a 21 day withdrawal period. And so they either mark or write down or keep very good records of the animals that they treat and they do not let them off the farm for a minimum of 21 days. And a lot of times farmers take the precaution and will even go out to 30 days. Um, again, we want to produce a safe quality food product for you. And that is why we are here to do it. We want everything that goes to your table to be something that we were proud to make. And that would also be on our table as well as yours. So again, just check um, some of the products that you buy when you go to the store maybe in your cupboard and you will be able to see a lot of them have products that are grown and that are raised um, and processed right here in North Dakota and you may not even realize it so thanks and I hope you have a good week and that you learn something about nutrition and food products